An engineering company in Cudahy has become an important supplier for the aerospace industry. They make machines that help to build satellites. Only on Fox 6, Gus Gnorski explains the company took on a challenge that no one else wanted. MLE deals with all kinds of lifting machines. But no one else builds lifts like this one. It's big, strong, and clean enough to work in a clean room at Cape Canaveral. Man and Material Lift Engineering is less than 10 years old. Been very successful. This is uh, our business has grown. Uh, we started in 2000 with basically three people. This week, engineers from the Cape are in Cudahy to check over the machine that will handle their satellites. It's a phenomenal machine. This is the second T-100 that's been built uh, for the Cape Canaveral Air Force area. The machines provide lifting power while satellites are being assembled. They have to be super clean because the satellites look at the stars to navigate while in orbit. So if there's any little speck of dust that's on there, it might take that as a star and, and uh, navigation will get uh, uh, messed up. MLE had developed other lifting machines for the aerospace industry. From there, we developed this 100-foot lift uh, for Lockheed Martin and Boeing. Uh, and in, er, in the early days, there was a lot of specifications, and they needed, they needed to have things in a particular way. Jeff says it's the skilled workforce he's found in the Milwaukee area that helped him to meet those specifications. We had talked to several manufacturers, and uh, they just uh, felt that it was beyond the scope of their work, and Jeff was willing to take us on here at MLE. Now it's a successful partnership with a future that's as big as the stars. Gus Konorski, Fox 6 News. The company will also provide clean lifting equipment for aircraft companies making new generation jumbo jets. Cool weather.